Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I achieve this fall makeup look. So if you're interested, then please don't forget to subscribe, give me a big thumbs up and comment down below. And yeah, let's get started. To start off this look, I'm gonna be prepping and priming my face. And today I'm using the Fenty No Filter Primer. So we are diving right into foundation today and I'm going to be mixing the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation with the CoverGirl True Blend Foundation. And this is my favorite combo. I like that it's poreless and also that it makes it makes me less oily and makes my makeup last all day and also it's full coverage so it's just a great combination altogether. To blend the product out today, I'm going to be using my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and this is my favorite sponge, I have to say. If you guys need a good affordable sponge, go and get this one, it's amazing. To carve out and clean up my brows today, I'm going to be using the Newborn This Way Concealer and I'm just going to take a brush and kind of carve out the bottom of my brow and then just blend it down into my eyelid. To set that down, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder and I'm just going to apply a little bit on a damp beauty sponge and just go ahead and apply that on my eyelids. For eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using this new Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette and I love this. It's great for fall, it has some deep colors, it has some warmer colors and also some bright colors. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking that top shade that's almost like a bone color and I'm just going to be setting the eyelids once again. The next color I'm dipping into is that beautiful orange pumpkin spice color and this is perfect for fall so I'm just going to be applying this into my crease as you can see just carving out my crease making almost like an almond shape and then I'm just going until I'm satisfied with the pigment, the color and just the way it looks all together. To deepen out the crease color just a little bit more, I'm going to be using that mauve brown color that had transition on it. And I'm going to be applying this into my crease and then also on the outer V of my eye. I'm going to be using that top row chocolate shade and I'm going to be applying this all over my lid, trying to stay below the crease. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm patting the color on and then I'm blending it out just to get the most payoff. For falsies today, I'm using the Huda Beauty Samantha Number no. 7 lashes. These are my favorite, you guys know this, I think I use them in almost every video. So today I'm going to be doing a cream contour, I know I've, I don't do this usually, but I felt like it would give me more of an overall tan, so I'm going to be applying this. This is the LA Color uh, Cream Contour, and it is in the shade Beautiful Bronze, and I'm just going to be applying this where I really want to kind of shrink my features and sharpen my features up, so of course my nose, my forehead, my cheekbones, underneath my lip just to give us the appearance that we have bigger lips and then my jawline. To blend this all out, I'm going to be using my Morphe M439 brush and this is awesome for foundation to blend out any kind of contour. It's just really nice, fluffy, and it just does a really good job at blending it all out and making it look really seamless.
to conceal and highlight my face, I'm going back in with the Born This Way concealer and I'm just going to be applying this onto the high points of my face and just blending it out with my Real Technique sponge. So as you guys can see, I left my under eyes to blend out last and the reason being is because I find that if you let the product sit under your eyes for a little longer, it gives more of a full coverage and also you're able to set it right away so it doesn't crease. So I'm just going to be blending it out with my beauty sponge and then going in with my Real Techniques brush and kind of blending out the edges underneath my eyes. To do so, I'm going to be using my Real Techniques domed shadow brush if you guys were interested. To set my under eye and everywhere that I put the concealer, I'm going to be using, of course, the Maybelline Loose Finishing Powder, and this is in the shade Fair Claire, just grabbing a damp beauty blender and just pouncing that into my skin. I'm also going to be taking just a brush, and I'm just going to be swiping away all of the excess powder that we have on. For bronzer today, I'm using the Makeup Revolution face palette and I'm going to be taking that bronze color in the palette and just kind of setting my contour and also giving me more of a bronze tan look and just doing that in the regular places that we always did it. In case you guys were wondering, I'm actually using the e.l.f. highlight brush to do all of this bronzing and I love it because it's very tapered at the end so it gives you more of a precise contour look. So I really do love this to apply my bronzer. To chisel my nose, I'm gonna be using my Morphe M504 brush, and this is just a perfect size just to kinda get really precise with the nose. So I just kinda go down the sides and then I just do the tip of my nose as well. Grabbing that rosy shade in the palette and just applying some blush onto my cheekbones and kinda brushing it into the, uh, the bronzer and into my cheeks. To clean up my cheek contour, I'm going to be doing this trick that I used a few videos ago and I'm just going to be applying some loose finishing powder underneath that line there just to clean it up and make it look a little bit more sharp. To finish off the eyes today, I'm going to be grabbing that brown transition color that we used on the top of the lids and I'm just going to be staying as close as possible to my lower lash line. Grabbing my Maybelline eyeliner, I'm going to be tight lining my upper lash line and then applying some on my lower lash line as well. For highlight today, I'm using the Maybelline Master Chrome and this is in the shade Molten Gold. And this is absolutely perfect for fall. I love the gold color and it just looks so bright, so nice without being too much. So I really do reach for this highlighter a lot and it's drugstore, it's affordable, and it's just so good. For mascara, I'm going to be using my favorite mascara in the drugstore. This is the Lash Sensational Mascara by Maybelline, and I'm just going to apply a little bit on my lower lashes. Last but not least, to finish off this look, I'm going to be applying my favorite lip liner. This is by Maybelline, and this is in the shade Totally Toffee. And then I'm just going to be topping that off with my favorite nude color. You guys know this. This is the Milani nude shade in, um, I believe it's Matte Innocence.
So that's it. We're done. That completes the look for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, and give me a big thumbs up if you like this look. I'll see you in my next one.